right, in the earlier video, you have seen that we can set up a standing transverse wave on a fixed string. Turns out we can do something similar using sound wave and a pipe. In future, we'll be talking in more details about both open pipes and closed pipes. But in this video, all I want to do is to explain why the displacement nodes and anti nodes and the pressure nodes and anti nodes are flipped. So here we have an applet that illustrates the standing sound wave formed in an open pipe. Basically, it's showing how the air density varies with time in the open pipe. So we can describe what's happening in the pipe uh, by using the displacement position graph. Or since we're talking about pressure wave here, we can also use the relative pressure position graph. So look at this position here. This is a displacement node. But this is the position where the relative pressure is uh, swinging with the largest amplitude. So a displacement node is a pressure anti-node. And now look at this position. This is a displacement anti-node. But at this position, the relative pressure is always zero. That means the pressure is always stuck at atmospheric pressure. So a displacement anti-node turns out to be a pressure node. Okay, let's now try to figure out what's happening by looking at uh, what's happening in a pipe, uh, snapshot by snapshot. So at this instant, the displacement position graph is at the zero line. That means everybody is having zero displacement. So all the air particles are sitting at that equilibrium position. That's why we have a uniform distribution here. And that's why the pressure everywhere in the pipe is at atmospheric pressure. So remember, this graph is showing relative pressure compared to atmospheric pressure. It's not showing absolute pressure. yeah. So if the graph is zero, it means atmospheric pressure. So a quarter of a period later, the displacement position graph will look like this. So look at the displacement node. On the left of the displacement node, the displacement is positive. On the right of the displacement node, the displacement is negative. That means the air particles on the left are displaced rightward, so towards the node. And the air particles on the right of the node are displaced leftward, so towards the node. So everybody is coming towards the node. That's why we have a compression here. And that's why we have higher than atmospheric pressure here. A quarter of a period later, everybody is back to their equilibrium position and the pressure is back to atmospheric pressure everywhere. Another quarter period later, the displacement position graph now looks like this. So the particles on the left of the node are having a negative displacement. So the air particles on the left of the node are displaced further left, away from the node. And the particles on the right of the node are having a positive displacement. So the particles on the right of the node are displaced further rightward away from the node. So everybody is moving away from the node. That's why we have a rarefaction here. And that's why we have lower than atmospheric pressure here. So now do you understand what's happening here? So even though at the node, the displacement is always zero, but the displacement on either side of it are always opposite in sign, right? It's either positive on the left, negative on the right, or negative on the left and positive on the right. And that's why if you're at the node, you're that, like the sitting duck there waiting for the particles on either side of you to either come and squeeze you or move away from you. And that's why the pressure at the displacement node swings from compression to rarefaction, swings from very positive to very negative. Okay, now what about the displacement anti-node? So this is the instant where everybody is at the equilibrium position, so you have atmospheric pressure everywhere. A quarter of a period later, Notice everyone is having the same negative displacement. So can you imagine all the air particles here all displaced leftward from the equilibrium position? So because everybody are displaced in the same direction, the density of air here remains the same and that's why the pressure here remains at uh, atmospheric pressure. A quarter of a period later, everyone is at atmospheric pressure. Yet another quarter of a period later, now everyone is having a positive displacement. So all the air particles here are displaced rightward in the same direction by about the same amount. So the density of air here ends up the same as before and that's why the pressure here remains at atmospheric pressure. So you can see here, so even though at the anti-node, uh, the displacement swings from the most negative to the most positive, but because everyone is moving in the same direction, either going rightward together or going leftward together, that's why the pressure here is stuck at atmospheric pressure. So now I hope you understand why a displacement node is a pressure anti-node and a displacement anti-node is a pressure node. Alright, that's all. Ta-ta!